Okay, thanks for tuning into the Excel tutorial here. Um, this is going to be a really quick uh, demonstration on. Uh, as I'll type it in, finding the sum of alternating geometric series, and I can type that right into the cell. The first thing I'm going to do is make a column for my ends, uh, and my ends are going to start from. Uh, 1, I think. And so what I can do is type a 1, hit return, hit a 2, hit return. Now to save time, I can highlight both of these. Click on this little corner here like this, and then drag that down. And you can see in the uh, lower right-hand corner of this shaded region, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I can go 12 terms out. What the heck, I'll go 15 terms. And so these become all my ends. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is enter a little formula for a sub n. Now in math, uh, computer typing, this underscore typically means something like a subscript. Now this is defined by some uh, uh, formula. And when we enter formulas in Excel, you type equals, and that means Excel is looking for a formula. And I'm going to say it's parentheses negative 1 close the parentheses, and this little caret sign means, means exponent. And I want it to be n, right? So I go over here and I select this one, which really means it's n sub 1, or n equals 1, like that, a4. And I'm going to multiply this by <coughs> some fraction, and it's good for me to type two parentheses right away. Uh, and as we recall, this is going to be uh, what is this going to be? 1 over 1 divided by 2 raised to the n, but I don't type in n. I go back here and click on that one. And I can click uh, the right arrow. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. A4. Click there. And I'm going to hit um, return. Right. So it's negative 1 to the a4 power, which is 1, um, times 1 over 2 to the a4 power. Now, because of order of operations, the parentheses here will happen first. Uh, now I can just hit return, and that fills it in. And um, now, why didn't that work? Because I wanted to start at zero, that's why. But that's easy to fix. Watch this. I change that to a zero, and that makes my first term what I want it to be. But I want this one to be a one. <clears throat> I want this one to be a two. This one to be a three. If I want to continue this pattern, I highlight those ones that are indicative of the pattern, I just, yeah, again, I highlight the ones that are indicative of the pattern, I kind of grab, and notice the shape changes there from a hand to a little plus, I can just extend this pattern all the way down here, so I get down to 14, but I actually want 15 terms, so I can go like that. Now this, I can look, if I'm a little curious what my formula is, this is negative 1 to the a4 power, which is negative 1 to the n, times 1 over 2 to the a4 power, so 1 over 2 to the n. Same deal, I'm going to extend this pattern all the way down here. And look what happens. So I click on this one, I look at my formula, it's negative 1 to the a5 power. Well, here's a5, it's to the 1 power, and it's 1 over 2 to this power, so it's 1 half. And it keeps alternating signs and gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Now, when I want to figure out what my partial sums are, I make a column for s sub n. All right. And my first partial sum will just equal what that is. All right. That's easy enough, and that equals 1. <clears throat> my second partial sum, right, because now this is my second partial one, equals the previous partial sum plus this, this next term. So C4 up here, plus my current term, my previous partial sum, plus this term. And I hit enter. So that's kind of a recursive definition. And then now if I want to continue this pattern down, I just drag this all the way down. So now we can see that my um, partial sums kind of get uh, bigger. Um, it starts with one, then smaller, then a little bigger, then a little smaller, a little bigger, a little smaller, a little bigger, a little smaller, and it's slowly dialing in. Uh, and this is where I got the numbers that I used for that uh, example uh, in the last lecture. 
Uh, that was a very quick and dirty explanation of Excel, but I think it shows some of the key um, features of Excel and, and how we can do some very quick estimates of sums. Uh, just by looking down here, we can see we're already accurate to one, two, three, four, five decimal places um, just by going 15 terms out. So there you have it. Uh, I hope that helped. I'll see you guys in class.